Hey there everyone, welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron as the now Dominion of India, no longer the British Raj, so that's cool. Um, we are currently at war with Italy and pushing in fairly well and the world is on fire. Australia is going to fall, we're at war with uh, the Axis and Italy's faction, France is in a bad spot. Um, Italy is in a bad spot too, though. So, we got that going for us. Um, and we have positive artillery production. So, that means we're producing more than we're losing. So, eventually, we will have full strength divisions over here. So, go us. And we're pushing through. I think having the artillery, even if we don't have all of it, is really helping. Gives us some some pushing power. And hopefully we can take Rome real soon. And I we've I heard that and but there's no like pop up. So maybe it's like our allies landing or this naval battle that probably keeps happening. I don't know. But Italy is still pushing up there despite the fact we're almost at Rome. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, we're currently losing, but they're really low on organization, so I think, yeah, it's already back up to winning. Do we have an airfield around here? Because I kind of want to take our fighter, our close air support that we discovered is doing absolutely nothing and throw them up here. Um, but I feel like they wouldn't exactly do a whole lot. Get even more. I think we're basically done with civilian production at this point. I think we just need military factories. Just straight up. So I think I'm gonna bump this speed up a little bit. I don't think we really need a slower speed right now. I just keep. I'm waiting for Australia. What are they at? 88%. Taking a shot is annoying though because there's victory points, but then I feel like, I'm pretty sure it's territory based. Bulgaria has capitulated. That's fine. So Greece basically took them out. I mean, there was other troops there, but Greece actually did help. How is this going? So we're pushing up there towards Ancona, which is one. Rome is the big goal, obviously, but... Oh, looks like they're starting to run out of equipment, maybe. How many factories do they have? 33 to 40. Did we take a bunch of them? I mean, that's 9... Oh, wait, no, that's 9 unlocked. That was a bunch... That was a pretty good amount of factories. Okay. We don't share any borders with Turkey, right? No, they have, would have to go through Iran, and Iran's still not in any wars or anything, so that's fine. It, taking out Italy and getting out of this one war is our first goal, because then we can also divvy this up, and we will get... What? 29% actually. That's more than uh, the United Kingdom. Okay, I think that's just the sound of like naval combat or something happening around us. Don't think that's actually relevant to us. Okay, please take Anzio. We have some troops trying to move there. Yeah, and they have no organizations. We should blast through them. Um, do you think we might be able to just sneak straight into Rome? As soon as we take this, as soon as we take Anzio. Because they're going to have no organization. And it looks like I don't know if they have a whole lot to reinforce with. Go. Go, 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 go,
Yes. Jackpot. Okay, now let's hold this. What did that do to Italy? 76%. Okay. Um, let's take a minute. We're short on steel again. Alright, so let's import some more. Um, so we'll finish that up. But then we're just going to start building just straight military factories all the way across now. So we'll get those six. Okay, so now let's figure out what we want to do offensively over here. I kind of want to delete that and that. Did Gibraltar get retaken and then fall again? Um, so let's try to get an offensive line that will push up to here maybe, and we'll take Encana on the way. Probably. Okay, so let's let everyone reposition, figure their ish out, and then we will commence the attack. Okay, Recon Company 2. Not in 41 yet. Come on, let me... Picking that up already. Um... Do we start picking up tank tech? I feel like that's too much. Let's get... Yeah, we don't have any doctrines. So let's grab that. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, let's keep going down. I'm not sure why I haven't picked any up yet, but... Oh well. Uh, Alright, so now... I feel like we've got most of our stuff in place, so let's start pushing up. And Italy, 76%. I feel like we're going to have to push up to here, probably. Maybe a little bit more. I mean, this is probably a home thing for them, because it's Albania, and they took that. There's no victory points there. Maybe we have to take Venice, or Milan. I might have to go up to here. Rome was 40. And that was like a 30... Percent swing. If I remember correctly, I don't know, but we've kind of we're pushing pretty reliably. Like I'm, I was about to say, we kind of have them on the run, but that's not really accurate. Well, our artillery is almost, almost up there. It'd be great if we could take this. That's three. I don't know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good right now. We're being much more helpful than I thought we would. Um, how is our this? How is, how is our this? That is wonderfully specific. Uh. Alright. We're almost 200 points. Half of which is coming from our war score, so that's good. We really... They are being helpful. And this... We're crossing the river, which is good. That's probably not that easy to do. Do we want to get fighter friends? Like, that's going to hurt our autonomy a little bit. Give us a bunch more population. I feel like let's come down here towards the land doctrines and stuff. France is still kind of holding on. Oh, but Germany's starting to break through, so maybe not. I mean, France is under attack from three fronts. Them having held on this long is honestly kind of impressive. So. God, those sounds keep making me panic. That, like, nothing is happening for us. Um, and what are you? The Red Eagles Division. 
Okay, so you're essentially a standard infantry division for us at this point. I mean, one division's going to do nothing at home. But I feel bad not having anything at home. I don't know. We are pushing up here quickly. We're about to take Ancona. Ancona, I don't know. Italian pronunciations. I don't know anything about them. I think that's just the naval battles, even though it's just going to panic me the whole time. It'd be great if we could free these troops up, but then, I mean, Germany's already down there. I think this might be the beginning of the end for France, to be honest. And then I think maybe next we turn our goals to Turkey, because they're the closest threat to us. And also they have some pretty dang good resources. What is it, F7? Yeah, they got a bunch of chromium, which I don't think we really have. Oh no, we have, we have chromium, and we're not using it. But, whatever. Alright, Trotsky, way to go. Trotsky, Trotsky. You don't tune into here for pronunciation. To be honest, I'm not sure why you tune into here, but thank you for doing so. Oh, we got him on the run now. Set up a second offensive line that goes like that to try to get also get to Lombardy. I think we might have to push all the way up to there, but... Turn everything on aggro. Because we have there do not have much aggression. I mean organization. We don't have aircraft. Uh, we don't want defense. Let's go with Mohan Singh. Ten percent more attack seems good. The recovery rate would also be good, but where are you from? It says Italy, but that flag isn't the Italian flag. I don't know. But Italy is getting pretty close. What are they at? Probably 80? 78. Come on. Florence, that's, what, four victory points? Yeah, so it's not a huge amount. But might we have to get... A little surround here? Probably not, but... Who is moving over there? You don't need to go all the way back there. That's not helpful. So let's see if we can get a little mini surround here. He can move there quickly enough. Get there first, get there first. Awesome. This could be huge if we can take all these dudes out. So they might try to back away via ship. Okay, I think we got him. I think I think we got him trapped. And we have artillery everywhere. Awesome. So then let's put some more stuff in imagery equipment. We probably still need upgrades. Yeah. And some reinforcements, which is whatever. Italy is getting real close. How long on this? Another 45 days? Good lord. Do they have just the one province here? On territory, I still don't know what they're called, but yes, they do. How's the home front? Peaceful. Is Australia still around? I mean, I did say that it's pretty hard to take them out. This should be enough once they lose Victoria. Is that what that place is called? Yeah, no, Adelaide. Once they lose that, I imagine they'll fall then. Uh, maybe they'll have to lose that in Brisbane. I don't know. Nope. Okay. So now we start to get nervous because there's the some islands over here and stuff, but we're the next major country along the way. Another 20 days. 
I mean, th that's one of those things that as we start to take divisions out, it'll accelerate. So, once we take out one division, then it'll go faster. Like, they just lost something, so. And then that'll put them like 80. No, oh, it's only one victory point. Never mind. That won't really affect that too much. But we didn't take out 10 to 12 divisions here, which is pretty clutch. I'm getting... France is still existing, which is awesome. So decision time is going to have to come soon. Do we try to defend our coasts or do we try to assault Turkey? Because Turkey doesn't have that many divisions. Our 21 and our 21 are pretty high level. Could be fairly devastating to Turkey. Uh, let's grab that. Or do we try to help Spain out? I mean France out. We could probably do some work against nationalist Spain as well. Maybe since our troops are here, we just swing over and try to help France out. Because this is going to clear up this entire border. Which will allow them to redistribute a bunch of troops. The Germans being pushed back by the Soviets. Uh, okay, so we wiped that out. So it is at like, yeah, still just 80%. But now that we had like 11 divisions there, so now 11 divisions are back up to here. So yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna take Italy out. Probably before the end of October-ish. What do we want? Oh, do we need anything? Not really? I don't think we really have anything we could really use like sure we could grab excavation more resources isn't bad actually that would be good because that would give us another nine steel so we could get one factory back uh speaking of what is our construction like okay so we're still burning through those can uh spilling factories but okay we're assaulting genoa and winning assaulting baloney is that actually how it's the city's pronounced? Is that just what we call the quote-unquote meat in America? I don't actually know. Maybe we should just try to backdoor Germany. Actually, that's like kind of really tempting. Like we can just like offensive line, like I mean front line offensive line and just push into Germany. That's really tempting. I think we're gonna YOLO and do that, actually. Yeah, that sounds fun. So we're gonna do that. Oops. Didn't mean to right click. So we're kinda, I mean, we're not condemning France because at that point, because we'll force German troops back. Actually, once we pull some German troops away, we won't be able to push into Germany by ourselves at all. So. We'll go as long as we can, which might not be that long, but okay, there's Genoa falling. And what might be pronounced as baloney, I'm not sure. So now we basically just need like one more city. Because they are at 91%. And Venice is 10. And Milan is like 15. So one or the other. And we're like two away from each of them, so. That's not very helpful. We don't have enough for that. Let's grab that. The 75% research bonus is actually huge. Okay, so Italy is about to fall. And what is our war score? 39%. We'll actually be able to get some holdings over here. Maybe just try to take like some of the boot of Italy or something. I feel like we might want to shorten this, but we're pushing there and then it should be fairly fast to get to Milan. So 
surprised this division still exists, because there's nothing here. They could just go there and get a port back. Okay, so they have no organization along here. Okay, we are gonna have to attack across the river, which is less than ideal. But I think we'll be fine. I do kind of want to help take out Turkey, but oh, Greece has got troops across um, to Constantinople. What is this called, actually? Is it just two things? One, I called it Constantinople. That was its old name. And two, is there like a specific name for the canal? I don't know. How's the Pacific going? So Japan is still struggling to take all of this. And we do have some British ships fighting out here. So that's good for us. And we're attacking Milan. Which is amazing. And then that'll be enough to take them out completely. And then we should actually have a peace conference because this is a separate war. So we don't have to deal with any resistance, which is amazing. Awesome. Okay. So we can grab Sicily, which it's not changing color. Okay. So we can grab that. Grab that. Awesome. Um, let's pass a turn. Why is... Can we not take Latium? Weird. I know, but we're getting a lot more out of this than I thought we would. Why don't you just like try to take Albania? It does have seven factories in it. Oh no, Albania's gonna be liberated. Ooh, that has resources. We want that. It's like no one else taking things? I'm like super fine with it if that's the case. But we just got like almost all of mainland Italy. So let's pause, because that was a weird peace comment. I'm not sure what happened. So Libya got liberated. Nothing happened over here. We got almost all of this. Republican Italy kept that. Uh, Britain took Malta. Albania got liberated. Republic of Bulgaria, so I assume that's like a puppet or something. And same with Hungary. Okay, so suddenly we find ourselves, one, with a lot of things to repair, mostly infrastructure, and then with a lot of free factories and a lot of resources. Okay, so I'm going to put a cut in here, and next, next time we have a whole bunch of factories to assign and this just got interesting so thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed um if you did feel free to like comment subscribe whatever makes you happy um and i will see you guys next time